Okay, welcome to another Ranger Auto video. We are underneath the 89 Ranger today for a sensor location video that I had a request to make. So we're going to start off with that one right there. That is exclusive to 89 to 92 Rangers only. What that does is that monitors oil level in the oil pan. When you're on an incline or something and you know that the truck is facing downward, you have a light on your dashboard that says check oil. That's what that's for. If you were to park the truck on level ground, the light would go out. That is to let you know if you have a leak or something that your oil level is low and you could have engine damage. So that's what that does. Up here, I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but you've got two sensors, one on the engine block and one on the cylinder head. The engine block one is the oil pressure sending unit that tells your oil pressure gauge what the uh, amount of oil pressure is in your engine. The one in the cylinder head is for your temperature gauge that tells you how warm the coolant is. Going along the bottom of the transmission here, that up there is my neutral safety switch that also operates the backup lights. See, this is a manual transmission, so automatics have the same thing. This back here is new to 89. That little sucker right there, that is the vehicle speed sensor. That, in conjunction with the sensor on the rear axle, Tell us the brake computer how much pressure to apply in an emergency stop because this vehicle has rear ABS. So now that we're done underneath the truck, let's go to the top of the truck. On the top of the truck, on the back of the engine is my EGR system. That is a pintle in there that opens up the diaphragm to release the exhaust gas through the tube down into the uh, exhaust system. Then we've got our various wiring and whatnot. That is your fuel pressure regulator. This down here is your engine temp sensor. See this one down here. This is the one that I had to request on. This is your power steering fluid pressure sensor. This is on the pressure line. And this is the one that uh, when you're doing the OBD diagnostics and you turn the wheel both ways, it's reading off this sensor right here. That's what that does. So let's see, what else we got here? This down here, this very expensive piece of equipment right here is your DIS module. This is the one that if you try to do that uh, ridiculous thing where you have your... Um, spark plugs fire at the same time instead of on the combustion and exhaust strokes like it's designed to do. You could blow this little puppy up right here. This sucker here, last time I checked, was 150 bucks. So my advice would be drive the truck like it was meant to be driven and don't try anything stupid. Okay, then we've got your throttle position sensor right here. And this right here is your idle air control motor. Let's see what other sensors we have on this truck. That's about all the sensors we have on this truck. This right here is your EGR EVAP sensor. This is also like the MAP sensor that we're going to see on the 01 Ranger. That's all that does. This right here is a vacuum control sensor. It will register as an emissions fault if it goes bad. And you'll see a code corresponding to that. And that's all the sensors I have on this truck. It was an AC truck, but the AC is currently being retrofitted, so I don't have the new AC pieces yet. But the AC parts are generally the same. So this covers 89 to 90, 95 right here. Let's go over to the 01. All right, on the 01, you have a sensor on the back of the cylinder head you have to take the intake off to get it out because you cannot access it from the bottom. That is your temperature gauge. That will... Uh, wait, no, that's not temperature gauge. That's your oil gauge back there. And it's actually located in the block. You have to take the intake off to get to it. If 
it ever goes bad, you'll notice your check gauges light comes on. So that's one of the gauges that that uh, light monitors. This truck, unlike the 89, does not have the oil level monitoring on the oil pan, which I think is a damn shame because that's actually saved my butt a few times, but no matter. And we go over here, we've got our ABS motor. This runs the uh, anti-lock brake system. You've got your ABS pressure sensor right here. This reads off the master cylinder. If this sensor ever goes bad, you'll get an ABS code and you'll have diminished braking. So it actually does affect the braking, unlike on the 89 where it doesn't really do much. So, moving right along, you'll notice there's no other sensors on this side of the engine, so we'll go around to the front. This right here is your low side AC sensor. More about that in another video. And you got your fuel injectors down through here. You got your uh, fuel pressure regulator here and your bleed off right here. You go down here. This one right here is your engine temp sensor. This runs the gauge. And this is engine temp sensor number two. This runs the uh, signal to the computer. This one right here is your air charge temperature sensor. This tells the computer the temperature and flow amount of air coming through the snorkel tube into the throttle body so that the computer can tell the uh, engine how much fuel. This right here is your temperature, not sorry, this is not temperature, this is your throttle position sensor. And this one right here is your idle air control motor. This is your map sensor. Over here, you've got this nice little pain in the neck right here. This is your DPFE or EGR positive feedback sensor. And your computer sits right here. Right inside there where on the other truck was the map sensor. Then you've got your AC system. So, I hope this helps. If there was a sensor that I forgot or that you think needed to be included, just let me know. Your EGR is down there, by the way. There's one there, and then there's one halfway down the pipe, because this one has an upstream and a downstream. And speed control on this truck is controlled off the rear axle with the sensor that sticks out in the rear axle. Plus, on all four wheels, this is a four-channel system. It has a wheel speed sensor on each one to control braking. So that's all there is to that. And this is the same for 96 to 01 2.5 and 96 to 2010 2.3. The only thing that's different is maybe a slight change in location, but they all have the same sensors. So hope this helps. If you have any questions, just let me know. And we'll see you next time.